Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So yeah, Bitcoin <laughs> adheres like a boss to our support and resistance areas here at the moment. Uh, really good to see that also here the short term entries and possibly exits, depending on your own strategy and plan, uh, are working out very well at the moment. So even though it's not the best of structures, um, it still follows very nicely here the Fibonacci support and resistance areas that we get from uh, using the Elliott Wave method together with our Fibonacci support and resistance boxes. So as you might remember, in this video, by the way, I only want to focus on the short term count briefly, because yesterday in the last video gave you quite a, con um, I, uh, yeah, a substantial video, quite a, um, quite a long video about the different scenarios and also long term targets for Bitcoin. So feel free to check that out. But here really just a short term, we came into the first larger support area for our primary expectation on the weekend reversed perfectly at the golden ratio the 61.8 retracement here very interesting to see the golden ratio that it adhered to and it also adhered to it when i highlighted yesterday to you this resistance area here um, relevant for a b wave where it also adhered to a 61.8 retracement so worked out worked out possibly even as a short trade here did highlight that though only on the uh, on the signals channel on discord and telegram and then turned around actually twice in our um support area even though i think uh i only added that to the chart when we were already coming down here i'm not entirely sure no i think we had it before but either way we um possibly two profitable trades from this support area here and here now we can currently assume that the low has been made um, of course, it's not fully confirmed because you only really get confirmation when it breaks above 23.9k. Yeah, someone correctly said in the comments, but that was not the Bitcoin video. There was another one that when you wait for confirmation, it's often too late and so on. Um, yes, but I don't suggest to wait for confirmation to do a trade. That's why we've got these colorful, nice boxes on the chart. And again, I don't suggest to you when you use them, how you use them, but I tend to buy in support and sell in resistance. Of course, I'm not using every box, but I use, for example, trading bots for this or um, grid bots, or I use the larger boxes, yeah. Um, but either way, these are, for someone who's trading short term, I mean, this would have generated you some money, okay. Um, if you wait for confirmation, yeah, I mean, then your reward to risk ratio is sort of not the most attractive one, but um, nobody says you wait for confirmation, right. Um, so, Again, there are three levels of confirmation in Elliott Wave. First of all, you get the five waves, which we had. We had three waves down in the other direction, which we had. So two levels of confirmation achieved. That's normally the, the most reasonable way, let's say, of entering it. You have two of the three levels of confirmation and you enter a Fibonacci support area. So that's a possible pullback trade. Yeah. And the third level of confirmation will occur when we break above the previous wave one high, which would be here 24k. However, 24K is very close to the first target for the short term move. So it might not be the best reward to risk ratio. That's why entering in pullback areas is great. Anybody who used them here can just move up their stop loss into break even. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. And here you can see so nicely that they, these guys, <laughs> these coins, they turn around at an instant. Okay. So everybody was very, very bearish yesterday. Um, I saw it in the, you know, in the chat rooms as well. Still though, and it's hard for me as well, because I get influenced by the sentiment sometimes, but you stick to your count, okay? And if the most likely count suggests this is a one-two setup, then you put your boxes on the chart, you speculate for a reversal, and they do reverse at an instant here. It can happen very fast, very quickly. It's a volatile market, but yeah, okay, perfect. So what's next? Um, this is passed, yeah, work out, this passed, let's go on. So at the moment, we're working on um, the upside here and we can focus on the upside as well. We broke above resistance just about here, um, hovering just below um, the 23,730 level or just above actually. But um, this was here the 78.6 FIP level, but I don't think we have a sub sustained breakout. But now that we are actually already in a third wave, the resistance is different. The, the resistance is, or at least we are most likely in a third wave. The resistance is now at 24k so that's what the um the bulls need to bring it above then we would have additional confirmation um and we might find some resistance first of all at the at the a to c equality target which is here um at 24.2k that would be the first target because if it's a c wave because it could be an abc yeah a b c and then break down that's possible be aware of that 24.2 is the first target now 
how to use that strategically. Well, if you trade this short term, you can take your first partial profits here if you like to, um, or you just move up your stop loss because um, it could also be a third wave, which at the moment would be my primary expectation. And as a third wave, it should take it to at least 24,927, but eventually higher um, to eventually 29K plus, not in a straight line though. So when um, is there is there going to be a next entry point? Well, after these five waves up are complete, there should be a stronger retracement again. So at the moment, I'm just following this wave three target. There will be a probably a box when we when we can see that we actually are in a third wave, not in a C wave. So there will be a resistance box, and then for the wave four support, I will give you another area, but we're not there yet. So yeah, that's at the moment my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.